Qatar and Turkey have reached an agreement with the ruling Taliban government in Afghanistan on the management of Kabul airport, a statement from Qatar's foreign ministry said on January 26. Four days later, on 31 January, Qatar announced that it had signed a memorandum of understanding with the Taliban government to relaunch a new Qatar Airways chartered flight for those wishing to leave Afghanistan. The flight was cancelled due to a lack of agreement with the Taliban for months after the Americans fled Afghanistan. The deal would allow thousands of Westerners stranded in Afghanistan and thousands of Afghans supporting U.S. forces in Afghanistan to be evacuated. Qatar's Deputy Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani made the remarks during a meeting with U.S. media outlet Axios in Washington. The Deputy Foreign Minister was visiting Washington with Emir of Qatar Sheikh Taman bin Hamad Al Thani. Sheikh Taman is the first Middle East leader to visit Washington during the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden. During the visit, Biden declared Qatar one of the 16 major non-NATO allies. Al Monitor reports that President Biden has given Qatar the honor for its role in advancing U.S. foreign policy. Among them, Qatar's biggest role was in supporting Doha during the U.S. flight from Afghanistan. Qatar was the main medium for the Taliban to negotiate with the Americans. Due to Qatar's huge diplomatic activities compared to its own size, the country has come up in various geopolitical discussions in recent times. On January 22, the news agency Bloomberg quoted U.S. officials as saying that Biden had invited Sheikh Taman to Washington. One of the key objectives of the invitation was how the United States would deal with Europe's energy problems if Russia cut off gas exports to Europe in the face of a Western blockade following a Russian military strike on Ukraine. Amos Hoquestein, a senior advisor to the U.S. government, is leading talks with major liquefied natural gas or LNG companies and the country, Reuters reports. Qatar is one of the largest LNG producing countries in the world. However, most of the country's LNG is exported to East Asian countries. EU countries, on the other hand, depend on Russia for 40% of their gas supplies. That is why the United States has not been able to unite European countries against Russia on the Ukraine issue. Nikol Kozanov an associate professor at the University of Qatar, in an article in the U.S. think tank Middle East Institute, says that if Biden's and Taman's plans succeed, Qatar could become a major player in Europe's gas market. As a result, Qatar will be able to replace Russia in many cases. During Britain's energy crisis in late 2021, Qatar stopped sending LNG to East Asia to help Britain. As a result, Britain honored Qatar by calling it a disaster supplier and signed a secret agreement. For almost three years, Qatar has been under siege by Saudi-led Middle Eastern countries. That would motivate Qatar to forge closer ties with the United States.